Hey guys, I know I haven't made a video for a while, but today I'm going to be reviewing two different protein powders that are vegan for Two Doors Fitness. And also, if you're coming to Japan or you already live here, um, these are like the vegan protein powders that I recommend. And also, I'll be um, explaining to you some of the kanji in case you come here and you can't read it as well as the comparisons and the review I'm going to be reviewing this body line protein powder um, I'm using this now it's relatively new on the market I found this but they only have one type and it's the plain type um, it has an amino score of a 100, so this is amino sun is how you pronounce it, um, 100, so that just means amino acids, um, nitsu yake k is this kanji, and that is um, protein, so it's saying thermal quenching protein. It says on the back, protein digestibly corrected amino acids, as I said, and then on the so here it lists it has eight different amino acids and on the back it lists them in Japanese it's under what it says amino sang ganyuryo which is right here on the back is how you read that and it lists the amount in here um, in Japanese on on the back here but it's good that they list it in English as well. Um, other than that, it says Bundi Daisu Tanpaku Fu Ano Shio, which means that this is like an isolated soy protein that they use in this powder um, in pure form. So, as you can see on the back of the ingredients, this just has, it doesn't have a lot of extra stuff in it. It just has uh, Daisu Bundi Tampaku, which I mentioned, the isolated soy protein. And this is the kanji for ingredients here. Let me put that in focus for you. Okay, there we go. So right here, and then lecithin, lecithin. And, um, so yeah, that's all that's pretty much in this powder and it's plain so it doesn't have any flavor so I recommend mixing it with some fruit, making a smoothie and then it says uh, no. Suyose protein right here and so that just means it's soluble in water so it mixes easily which um, which is debatable in my opinion um, it's kind of like really thick and chunky so uh, you have to it mix it for quite a while but you can just use your blender doesn't matter and then um, other than that, it says here, Idenshi Kumikae Daisu Fuyo, which means this here, Idenshi, is non genetically modified soybeans. So, this is a non genetically modified soybean product. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you're worried about that, they are using non-genetically modified soybeans. It's just in its pure form. And if you're wondering, the company is Orihiro. So Orihiro Kabushiki Gaisha makes this. You can buy this in pretty much right now. I've seen this in Sapporo Drugstore and that's about it since it's relatively new. One more thing to mention though is the macro content. So if you're trying to build muscle, it's got the 
AO Sabun, which is the nutritional content. This is what it's called, AO Sabun, right here is the kanji. And then the macro contents. So this, which is uh, Nitsuryo, is the calorific value, and they call it enerigi as well. So 366, they say kcals here in Japan. 366 calories. And tampaku shitsu, which is protein, 81.2 grams. Shinsu, which is fats, 5 grams. Fats. And then carbs, which is 12 grams. And then here, things like um, natodium is like the sodium content right here, 1,200 mg. And then they have like calcium is over here, and those are in katakana instead of kanji. Um, but that's how you read the macro contents on these. Uh, but this is per 100 grams, and I don't use the scoop that came with this because I don't really like it. So when I measure this out, I use the scoop that came with the Savas Protein Powder, which is this one right here to measure it out. Um, and as for the Savas protein powder, it is just one scoop is 21 grams. So next I will be reviewing the Savas protein powder, which you guys always have seen me use in the videos. Um, I mix this with uh, pancake, sorry, my stomach is growling because I'm hungry. Probably because I'm looking at this, I really want to have some protein powder. But this is for toning and um, when you're on a cut and you want to maintain muscle. So like if you're doing HIIT or uh, you're just, you know, lifting light and doing some cardio, you want to keep your muscle, maintain muscle, whatever. Um, then there's the Savas protein powder. Um, right now, the only soy protein powder is this one. Coco. I don't really recommend the other products that are out there because they have wee protein powder in them and I'm just reviewing the vegan protein powders. So right now this is the only one on the market and you can get it at Tsuruha and Sephora Drugstore. This has been out for a while so it's pretty much anywhere. Um, so right here it says no tameni. So that pretty much means if you want to like uh, tone your body. This is a good protein, for, soy protein for that. And then you can drink it um, after a workout, which is what I typically do. Uh, no, it says here, undo no ato. Uh, let's focus that. Undo no ato, neru mai, which is before bed, which sometimes I drink it before bed, or uh, choshoku, um, breakfast, which sometimes I drink it during breakfast or I mix it with my pancakes, protein pancakes. And yeah, in terms of taste, I definitely recommend this because it tastes like um, chocolate milk. So this one tastes a lot better. Uh, and by the way, this is the kanji for soy in case you're confused. I keep saying dice, right? So that's soy. So whenever you see dice next to the protein, it's uh, soy protein. And this is soy protein 100%. And this has um, seven different vitamin Bs and vitamin Cs. So right here it says seven shudu, which is types, no vitamin B to vitamin C. In case you're wondering. And then I usually use one to two scoops and I mix it with water or milk. So, uh, no, like, uh, 1本か2本のスクープを使ってあの水と溶けして溶けて混ぜてあの飲むとか豆乳つあの豆乳使って飲む um, so yeah soy milk or water and then shake it and drink it and then um, here is the AO Sabun again, the macros, and it's only 79 calories right here. Uh, 15 grams of protein, 1 grams of fat, and 2.6 grams of carbs. So you can see it's kind of on the light side, and this is just more for maintaining muscle. Um, 
But I do really recommend this. This had really helped me on a cut um, to maintain and keep my muscle while I was doing a lot of HIIT workouts. Um, and I've been using this for quite a while. So I really love this one. It's my favorite and in terms of taste, it's just really good. Um, but it's not really pure. Um, it has a lot of other extra ingredients. I mean, it's vegan, but it's not like in pure form like the other powder. So it, obviously it's more, they put more in it for taste. And so if you're wary of that, maybe like you wouldn't want to use it. Um, in terms of the costs, I uh, this one is a lot more, like it's like double the cost. So this one is Nisen Gohakuen, which is 2,500 uh, yen and $25 if you were to get that. Um, in terms of dollars, and then this one is Saiyan, which is half the price, $10. Uh, so if you're comparing in terms of price, this one is cheaper. Anyways, if you like this review, give it a thumbs up and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure to share this video um, and yeah, that's about it on these two protein powders. I'll uh, see you guys in my next video. Bye!